First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rokha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. So earlier this evening, I was reading both the prayer of Manasseh and the prayer of Azariah. And, um, you know, I was, I was greatly humbled, you know, by both prayers, you know, on one hand, in the prayer of Manasseh, he's basically, um, you know, telling the, the heavenly father that, you know, he's not worthy, you know, because he had not kept the commandments, you know, but the Lord still had favor on him, you know, and here in the prayer of Azariah, when you start at the top, it says, And they walked in the midst of the fire, praising the Most High and blessing the Lord. Okay? So, we can never praise the Lord enough, you know, for what He does for us. You know, the scriptures say, um, when you exalt the Lord, you know, um, exalt him with all your might, for you can never go far enough. So you you can never, okay, exalt Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay, for everything that they have done. You see, you know, for us, okay, for Israel. So when I was reading this prayer of Azariah, and I'm going to read the first verse and then jump down. It says, and they walked in the midst of the fire, praising the Most High and blessing the Lord. Then Azariah stood up and prayed on this manner and opening his mouth in the midst of the fire said, okay, and you can read this um, prayer. But uh, one of the things that um, I found very, you know, interesting is that you know our forefathers you know they they praised yahweh okay by shim yahweh shai see you know starting with our apostles and elders on down you know you know we're we're, we're praising the lord too you know to the spirit okay and and we have to praise the heavenly father you know um in the midst of the fire you know, the fiery trial that, that tries us all. Okay. Because the Heavenly Father has dealt bountifully with us. Okay. Now, when you jump down here, we'll start, I'll start at 27. Then the three as out of one mouth praise, glorified, and blessed the Most High in the furnace, saying, and, and I thought that was spiritual. You know, we're all on one accord. Okay, as out of one mouth, praising, glorifying, and blessing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, we start the lessons, you know, our lessons with, you know, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Bashim Rokakodash, and that's very spiritual that, you know, we invoke the Holy Spirit. Okay, it says, Blessed. Blessed art thou, O Lord, power of our fathers, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. And as it continues, it ends with, and to be praised and exalted above all forever. You can, you can read it yourself right here. The prayer of Azariah. Okay. And to be praised and exalted above all forever. Now, when you go here to the book of Psalms 145, I want to read this uh, psalm. Okay. And this is a David psalm of praise. And when you go into this word praise in the etymology, it says to express admiration of, commend, adulate, flatter. Someone or something. Okay. To praise value. Right here. All right. 
to commend, to express admiration. In the noun form, as you see here, I highlighted expression of approbation or esteem because of some virtue, performance, or quality. Okay? So according to Yahweh Bashimi Abishai's virtue, performance, and quality, you know, and what they've done, we, we could never praise the Heavenly Father enough. But I'm going to read this. Psalms 145. I will extol thee, O my power, O king, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. You see? So as you see, you know, in the prayer of... um. Azariah, okay, and, and and Manasseh, which I was reading that one as well. But in this psalm too, you know, a hey, King David he praised, okay, the Most High. You see, and we praise the Most High uh, through Yahweh Shai, but you know it's because of, of of you know the Lord's mighty mighty acts, which I want to get into. Okay, now like I had mentioned, when you read the uh, prayer of Azariah. You know, he, he, ba you know, they basically start pr uh, uh, praising all the Lord's works. You can, you can read it. O ye heavens, O ye angels, O ye waters, O ye powers, O ye sun and moon, O ye stars, so on and so forth, are praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for all their, their, their works. You see? So we, we ought to do the same. Okay, it says, every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. And... You know, the apostles speak about how their um, elders, you know, taught them the truth. Okay, and here, here we, you know, come after the apostles. And, you know, some of our children, you know, b believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, our, our children are starting to, uh, you know, they're, they're growing up in the truth. They're born in the truth, I should say. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. And I get I got some scriptures, but um I'm probably not gonna read them all. You know, for 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 the sake of time, but the, I want to read uh Psalms 40 and 1. It's another Psalm of David. I waited patiently for Yahweh. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Salakia. Let me just let me just jump down for the sake of time. Psalms forty and five. Many, O Yahweh, my power are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to usward. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Yeah. You know, the wonderful works which, which you know, Yahweh Bashim Yashai has done, you know, it says, and thy thoughts which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. We could never fully go down the list, okay? You know, and, and, and you know, here in Naz the prayer of Azariah, he, you know, he goes down the list. You know, he has he lists uh, things uh, 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 that the that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai should be praised for, you know, and exalted, you know, above all forever. But, you know, here it is in Psalms 40, you know, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Okay, so the mighty acts of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai are more than can be numbered. They cannot completely be um reckoned okay so going back it says one generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts 
which we can never completely uh, in order, you know, name. But one generation, okay, in these last days are, 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 are remembering, you know. And as I mentioned, you know, you 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 got, you got brothers, you know that, that that uh, you know, their children are growing in the truth. This is our Psalms forty four and one. We have heard, and this is to the chief musician for the sons of Korah. We have heard with our ears, O power, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. You know, and we hear of uh, the apostles and their elders of what you know was done in their days, and the you know. They're teaching us uh, uh, to remember Israel, you know, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them. How didst afflict the people and cast them out. Okay. And many times over did, did, did the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai drive out the heathen for our sake. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hadst a favor unto them. You see? So, you know, lands that, you know, the land of Israel that was gotten, you see, it was not by their sword, neither by their own arm, you see, but it was by Yahweh Bashimia Oshai. Okay? And the scriptures speak about how the Lord fights for you. Deuteronomy 24, for Yahweh, your power is, is the most high. He is that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Okay. This is Exodus 4, 20, 20 and 25. Well, I'll start at 24. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, Yahweh looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud. And troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for Yahweh fighteth for them against the Egyptians. You see. So there's many acts, mighty acts, OK, that the God of Israel did. You see, he fought for the uh the Israelites against the Egyptians, you see, and not not to, not to uh, not to uh, forget to mention, you know, the flood, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. And and and, and even this captivity that we're going to be liberated from, you know, so many are the mighty acts that the Heavenly Father, you know, is worthy of praise for. So let me read this again uh, back in Psalms 145 and 4. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. And I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. Okay. And those wondrous works. Okay. As it says here in Psalms 40 and 5. You know, which, you know, they were towards us. They cannot be reckoned in order. You know, if we declared them or spoke of them, you know, the, the, they're, they're more than can be numbered. Okay. And what sparked this lesson was reading the prayer of Azariah, you know, also the prayer of Manasseh, you know. Our, our, our forefathers, you know, they beseeched the Heavenly Father. They prayed. They, they begged the Heavenly Father and exalted him because, you know, his works are towards the nation of Israel. Okay, which we know today is the so-called blacks, the Latinos, the Native Americans. Okay. It says back in Psalms 145, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts. And I will declare thy greatness. And that's what men are doing, you know, even up to this day. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. You know, brothers get together, you know, they're always speaking about, you know, what Yahweh Bashim Yoshai has done and will do. It says, Yahweh is gracious and is full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. Yahweh 
Bashim Yashai is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. And thy works shall praise thee, O Yahweh, and thy saints shall bless thee. Right? And that's why we say, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Okay? Brakata Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts. See what it says here. Strong's H thirteen sixty nine. Gevura. Gevura. Strength, might, strength, might, valor, bravery, might, mighty deeds of the most high. It says they shall speak. Of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. Yahweh Bashim Yashai upholdeth all that fall and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all. Wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand and satisfies the desire of every living thing. How about that? When you think about how the Lord feeds every living thing, even the wicked. You know, L look at the wicked. The, the, the Lord blessed them in this life. Their portion is in this life. You see, the Heavenly Father is greatly to be extolled his works you know everything works for his will everything works for um you know for the greater good if that makes any sense it says here in 17 the lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works you see That's why scriptures say, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay, you know, it, it is in all things. You know, when, and we've, we've said this out, um, co commonly out here in Great Millstone, Arizona. One of the things that we like to say is that, you know, the, the Heavenly Father, you know, he, 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 uh, you know, he takes note of all the creeping things, you know, the weather in the world, the, the seasons, you know, just because it's cold here, it could be uh, hot in another place. You know, uh, you know, he, 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 uh, the scriptures say if a, if a sparrow fall, you know, roughly paraphrasing the heavenly father knows about it. You know, when you wrap your mind around that, and you know, brothers start to, uh, you know, think about all the things the Heavenly Father is in control of. When you start to wrap your mind about that, you, you know, the Heavenly Father is in all things. You know, his, high, his eyes behold all things, right? So it says, uh, the Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. It says, the Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Yeah, the Lord, you know, and and and, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. With with the with you know, with a power like that, you know, he's greatly to be feared. Okay? You know, we are we are the creation. He is the creator, okay? You know, Yahweh and and his and his only begotten son, the 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 Messiah, the Savior of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, they're greatly to be feared. You see, he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Khan. It says Yahweh by Shimei preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. You see. The, but all the wicked will he destroy. And Israel was, was made to be a righteous and a holy people. 
how is it that in this world they teach the opposite? That's something that a lot of Christians don't don't uh, they don't question. Why is the philosophy in this world a do as thou wilt? You know, you are to fear Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. Okay, or else you will be destroyed. Okay, but that that's another story for another time. It says, My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord of Yahweh, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. Um, this uh, lesson was inspired by the prayer of Azariah. Okay, at the end. You know, he prays and exalted him above all forever. And and that's something that we try to do here in these times. Uh, at the top of this psalm, it says the Lord extolled for his goodness. Okay. Which that's maybe what I might um, call this lesson. But, uh, you know, when we uh, extol the Heavenly Father, you know, we can never go far enough. Okay. The Lord is great. Greatly to be praised because he, he, you know, he's for Israel and we are the Israelites, you know, so we owe, you know, the Heavenly Father all uh, praise, okay, forever and ever. Nor willing, this was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rokakwardash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Muslim that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim, and you, Akwai, that believe in all sincerity. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shai, 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 Brakta Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rokakwardash. Shalom.